Hi, this is Mike from Stack Engine. I wanted to take you on a quick tour today of our latest automation features available now in version 0.9 of Stack Engine. I've logged in here to the main dashboard and actually logged in as myself because now we support multi users. You, as an administrator, when you first set up Stack Engine, can set up the other team members that you may want to have check out Stack Engine with the Settings and Manage Users feature. You can set up as many team members as you need. And if you need to tie into LDAP, we support that too. So that's all new and great features from the latest release. But first, I'm going to go over to Components, because Components are the building blocks of which you will construct your applications. We have a number of components already defined within Stack Engine. You'll see about five of them when you get in there. And they're all pulling off the Docker Public Registry. Now you can add your own registries if you need. I mean, you may have a private registry that is out in the cloud or even on-prem. You can just define that here, and then you can create new components as you need to pull the image with a specific tag off of that particular registry. So those are your building blocks of how you're going to construct an application. Now let's check out applications and see where the real power of Stack Engine comes in. Over in applications, I've got a number of them already defined. I'm going to drill down on the one called three tier here. If I look at it really, really quickly, in fact, let me show you the one that's running right now as latest uh, in production. I've got uh, two uh, Redis containers that I've configured. Uh, I can change that here and uh, add additional components with our drag and drop interface. But what I want to do is scale uh, the Redis containers from two to three because I know I have some uh, traffic that I'm expecting on my website. So what I need to do is go back here and I've already got a three Redis container version identified. Uh, it's showing here all I need to do is add the tag latest to make that the latest. Add that tag and Stack Engine will automatically scale that application as I need and scale it up to three Redis containers. I can see my tasks have kicked off. That is Stack Engine making the changes that I've directed and scaling the application that's running. Looks like the tasks have finished, so I'm going to drill in here and I see that my third container is now running. I've confirmed that here. And the power of Stack Engine is I can make these changes and Stack Engine will automatically schedule the changes as I need. But when you first launch an app, you need to decide where you're going to run it. So the new feature of resource pools is now available. Take your hosts, divide them into different pools, and those pools are maybe used for different piece parts of your application. For example, prod. Prod, I've got four hosts running here, and when I deploy an application into prod, we automatically schedule that application to run across the hosts as you need. This is all taken care of by Stack Engine. So I hope you've appreciated the new features that we've brought to the table here in V0.9. We invite you to download a free 30-day trial and check out Stack Engine. If you have any questions at all, just email us at info at stackengine.com. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.